Today, I clearly talk about types of BL in international logistics. Before talking about types of BL, let's overview the basic role of BL. BL is an important document in international logistics, and an importer must obtain BL for picking up a cargo. Then BL is exchanged for DO, a delivery note. The importer picks up the cargo with a DO. Note that BL is not the only requirement to pick up a cargo. BL has to be exchanged to DO, for picking up a cargo. The basic role of BL is explained in another video. Check the link in the explanation section of this video for more details. Now, let's look at types of BL. The main three types are as follows. Original BL Surrendered BL Seaway Bill Let's take a look at it one by one. First, Original BL Original BL is issued in three copies. It comes in a set of three. You may have a three copies in two deliveries, to avoid loss risk as a business custom. Original BL, as the name implies, is original. An importer must have original BL, not a copy to pick up a cargo. Let's take a look at original BL flow. When a vessel leaves a port, original BL is issued and sent by an export side forwarder. The exporter sends original BL to the importer by courier, such as DHL or FedEx. Once the vessel arrives at a port, an import side forwarder issues DO. Getting original BL, the importer, exchanges it for DO. This is the flow of original BL. Next, surrendered BL. Surrendered BL is also commercially referred to as surrender. Surrendered BL is featured, as speed, and copy is acceptable. First of all, what does surrender mean? Surrender means collecting BL, by an original land, which means collecting BL at exporting side. Once it is surrendered, BL may not be original. The importer can get DO, by getting a BL copy, instead of original. Surrendered BL is, stamped as surrendered, and Telex release. Telex release means the same as surrender. Why is surrender BL for? Nowadays, due to high speed of a vessel, it may arrive at a port, before original BL is issued, and reaches an importer. Especially marine transport take only 3 or 4 days, to get to near country's ports. An importer cannot quickly pick up cargo, without original BL. However, unlike original BL, which sends the original document, an exporter can surrender BL by instructing a forwarder, and paying the cost at export side. The exporter emails the copy of BL, to an importer. And it's done. The importer can exchange the BL copy, for DO. This allows for speedy trade transactions. It also reduces the risk of losing BL. Finally, Seaway Bill. Seaway Bill is a bit different from BL, and it is not a security. This will be explained at another time, but Way Bill is not used for any trade using LC. But Waybill has a big advantage, once Waybill is issued, and the importer is identical to the consignee in the document, he can easy to pick up the cargo. In addition, there is no courier delivery cost of original BL, and surrender costs for surrendered BL. See Waybill is easy, fast, and cheap. The flow goes like this. An exporter initially asks for Waybill to be issued, not BL. Once the vessel departs a port, Waybill is issued, and a copy is sent to an exporter. The exporter emails the copy to an importer. The importer can pick up DO, being proved to be the Waybill owner. In the extreme, if Waybill is issued, and the importer can prove that to be its owner, the cargo can be picked up. Anyway, quick and easy is what makes Sea Waybill so special. However, there is also a risk associated with it. Because, once Waybill is issued, the cargo can be picked up. The exporter may have a payment collection risk. If it's original BL or surrendered BL, you can control the payment. With Waybill, it is more difficult. Therefore, in order to use see Waybill, the business relationship with your trading partners will be important. Such as parent and subsidiaries, or a long business track record. Today, I talked about types of BL. Original BL Surrendered BL Seaway Bill Each of these BLS has its own characteristics. Please make sure you understand this content for your logistics job.